It is painful. It is painful. Good morning, guys. Good morning, guys. How are you guys doing? How was your night? Hope you guys had a very pleasant night. Guys, my heart is heavy. It is not a good day. It's not a wonderful day. It's not a beautiful day here in Ireland today. Honestly, my heart is heavy. Forget about this makeup. I just made myself up so that I will look presentable in this video. I lost somebody so dear to my heart. She was my childhood friend. We've been friends for 34 years and she had been so good, so supportive. So I can't, you know, I can't, I don't know the, 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 the adjective to, to qualify this girl, this woman. She was lovely. So we, 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 did, we became friends in 1987. 88, we finished our living sites and we parted ways. She's not from my town, but she lived in my town so she could speak my dialect. So after our living sites in uh, 1988, she left to her parents um, in Lagos. But you know, that would have been the end of this uh, friendship. But she kept coming back. She kept coming back to visit me in my town, Undo town. She kept coming back to visit and... Um, the friendship kept going on. When she was about to get married, when I, get, when I got admission, she she followed me, you know, she followed me everywhere to come and check on me, you know, because as soon as we finished our living search, she started working. So I was, I progressed to school. She was working. So when she was about to get married, she came to me again. I'm going to get married this and that. Then I was in college. When she got married and had her baby, she came down. So she maintained this friendship and she was just too lovely. Um, when we, how we met in secondary school was I changed to their school in my fourth, no, form four. That's in my fourth year, whatever. We call it form four then. So I changed to their school. At break time, you know, as a new student, I had nobody to talk to. Everybody was looking at me. I was just down there at break alone. She walked down to me and said, hello, my name is so-so-so. And I replied, I responded again and I told her my name. We introduced us there. She took me to her friends. She introduced me to the rest of her friends. And since then, 1987, we became friends, you know. So we did a lot of funny childhood things together. And when I had issues, when life came to me and dealt with me, this woman was there for me. This girl was there for me to support me. She was encouraging me. She showed me a lot of things that I can do to get out of the problem. All right. She introduced me to a, pro, um, a, a business then. That time, Chinese garden or Chinese village was just new. She took me there. Go and be buying this. Go and be buying that. And I started and God took that, um, used that business that she introduced me to, to give me breakthrough. So when I came to Ireland 15 years ago, 16 years ago now, when I came to Ireland, you know, when you are coming abroad from our place, you will be envisaging as soon as I enter that Obudu country, everything will start working hunky dory, everything will be roasted. But guess what? It wasn't what I planned. So the the storm was too much for me to bear. I would call her from Nigeria. This is what I'm going to do, this and that. She will be encouraging me. She will call me. She will text me. She will, you know, she she lives in Nigeria. I mean, she lived in Nigeria then. And um, things weren't okay in Nigeria, but she will still be the one to call and encourage me. She'll tell me, all right, don't worry. She'll be saying it to my dialect. All right, don't worry. Things will be very fine, this and that. So we kept the friendship. She was the, 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 the glue that bonded the friendship, actually, because left to me, you know, maybe we would have parted ways, but she kept checking on me, calling me at every point. We were 13 plus when we met, and we could stay till last month. We spoke last month. So anyways, so when I got my residency and everything, she, things weren't okay, you know. She's not poor, but you know the situation of Nigeria. Uh, she works as a civil servant and you know their salary. And she kept telling me, oh, right, please, I need your help. I need your help. I need you to help me. You know, and I said, okay, don't worry. I will get you something. I will give you something. And I was looking to do the big thing for her. I really wanted to blow her mind. I wanted to establish her. So I told her, don't worry, wait for me. 
I will give you something. Whatever I can give you, I will give you. I didn't tell her, but honestly speaking, in my heart, I was going to blow her mind. I wanted to give her a huge amount of money. But look at it. So January this year, she called me. Or what are you doing? I said, okay. She wanted some, some. I said, okay, don't worry. March ending, I will do something for you. Only for me to open my Facebook two weeks ago, and I saw her brother saying, um, "May your soul rest in peace." The shock of my life. The shock of my life. The greatest shock of my life. So there is a reason why I'm doing this video. There is a reason why I'm doing this video. Since that um, time that I saw her death. I couldn't recover from this guilt in me. I'm like, okay, maybe if I had done something that I wanted to do for her, maybe she would have lived. Ooh. That maybe she would have lived. Anyways, so February we chatted. I didn't know she was, she never told me she was sick. This sickness was just like three, maybe three weeks. We chatted we spoke january constantly in january then february 17th was our last chat i couldn't stop looking at the chat and i had the plan i even told my daughter because she was the one that sends her um, attachment i'm so sorry guys it is painful it is painful so she she was the one that always helped assist to send um, my daughter's expression, we um, we voice and everything. So I had a plan because she doesn't have any left. So I told my daughter, don't worry, I'm going to call her, and she will send you. Um, I will send money to her so that she can post you new ones. That was my plan, and that was like the plan that like, I will go to send money to buy my daughter's attachment and we voice. Then I will give her the one I wanted to give to her. Unfortunately, I think she died on the 20, 28th of March. So this, the reason for this video is, guys, whoever the Lord has brought your way, don't wait till you have big things to, to help them. Whatever you can support them with, no matter how small, do it. So when the Lord blesses you again, you can add more. But don't wait till you have big blessing. To bless them with you need to call people call them be a part of their life while they are still living now i vouch and i told god i am going to support her she's no more but those children are still alive and i will be a part of their life but my friend is no more to say that which is a painful part of it so please guys do whatever you can do to support your loved ones give them a call, call them appreciate them minister to their needs no matter how small how little thank you for watching i know you have gained something here so that we don't start living in guilt and regrets thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye